lovely Pisces and welcome to your reading I hope that you're doing amazing and let's start this reading and we're going to take a look at the energy for you and your divine counterpart and see what's going on also happy birthday to all my Pisces that you are watching this now um, what I'm seeing for you guys at this time is that um, as you guys know we all we just had the new moon in Pisces on March 10 and I'm seeing that a lot of new energies are coming for you guys and it's just really beautiful and very dreamy something that you have been trying to manifest uh, in the 3d world could have been delayed or uh, maybe for some of you guys there has been an expectation on when you want it to happen but it didn't so I feel that for a lot of you guys you might be thinking that it's not happening you might have been uh, losing hope about it but spirit is saying that there is a new adventure there's these new energies that have entered your life and some of you maybe you are not feeling it yet uh, but soon I I feel like you're going to be entering this new phase of your life and it's going to be totally different from what you had experienced in your love life especially now i feel that uh, this manifestation uh, has been taking quite a uh, while be and there was a reason for it i feel that for a lot of you guys there needed to be some kind of a healing or uh, there was something that you needed to do before this happened um, on your person's end i feel that they have been very um, had so much conflict in 3d i'm seeing a lot of conflict for them that they have been trying to resolve and something has been uh, collapsed in their uh, world they are they have been going through transformation so there has been a lot going on but I feel like on their end it, it's more uh, on a 3d level and on your end it's more on a um, let's say on 3d uh, on in 5d or uh, I feel like for you guys it's a little bit different however you guys are going in parallel okay so energetically speaking yes you guys are going in the same uh, towards the same goal and uh, but it could be that with different experiences now um, let's take a look because I feel like once I show you guys uh, the energies with the cards and also uh, we're gonna draw more cards if you need to um, then you guys are gonna have a better understanding of what is exactly going on okay so we have eight cards here and I picked eight cards because we are in the year 2024 and it's a year number eight it's also a year of dragon a very very powerful year and it's a very beautiful year for Pisces so it's a really good year for you guys but there could be a little bit of delay so don't get discouraged because of that now let's start and see what you guys have we have carnation this is the phoenix arising from the ashes so there's a scorpio energy coming along and for some of you guys yes it could be that they have a scorpio in their chart or uh, perhaps you do as well but i feel that um, uh, this is also your energy that's coming but we will take a look at all of them and see what is going on what else do we have we also have the queen of wands so some of you have fire in your chart especially leo is being showed up and there's also a black panther here and that could be also your um, spirit animal that's being showed up and um, we also have my heart space is abundant and flowing beautiful and uh what else do we have here we also have the infinite life force the sun so there is a lot of leo energy coming into this reading actually and uh, we also have the karmic board clearing energetic clearing rewrite your story live your truth i feel that this is your person's energy and uh let's see what else we also have birds wow this is exactly the energy that i was talking about i feel like you are you guys are it's gonna feel like you're being reborn and there is a rainbow there is a lot of blessings coming for you pisces so um hang in there it's really really beautiful i feel like you are in the middle of this uh, giving birth into this manifestation of your dreams uh, and it's almost like uh, looking like you are coming out of this um uh, time of being in uh, in darkness or um, you know it's like they're saying that you are not you haven't been buried you've been planted and now you are coming out you are blossoming very beautiful and um, let's see what else you guys have hang on wow wake up um, your tenacity and determination hang on wow okay and um, 
what else do you guys have we also have the strength wow the leo energy is coming along very very strongly defending the weak um peacekeeping sincerity number 19 okay so um oh my goodness number 19 number 19 so it could be significant for some of you guys could be like your birthday uh that's being showed up or it could be their birthday that's showed up okay so what is exactly is happening here is that i feel that um on your person's end because i'm seeing their energy coming along very very strongly as well is that your person is trying to clear their karma something that um they kept repeating over and over again has ended for them okay or it's about to end and it says karmic board clearing energetic clearing rewrite your story leave your truth so what i'm seeing here is that um, your person has been going through this uh, cycle of patterns or situations or even um, going through the stories that they kept uh, telling themselves which was not true but they couldn't get themselves out of it for instance they could have been saying that oh i'm never lucky in love i always get the bad luck in love all the relationships that i have always end up you know messy and it's not fulfilling Feeling. so I feel like this is exactly what is happening for them because they needed to clear their energetic field um, something in their energetic field could have been preventing them from moving forward and um, for some of them it was their own negative thoughts and they might have thought that no this is the other person this is the karmic partner this is their failed marriage this is their failed um, all the failed stories that so-called that they have kept telling themselves i feel like they're clearing it and moving forward and leaving their truth um so uh, it's very very powerful for them i feel like your person is definitely going through a lot of changes um and because this um, energetic field is changing therefore people around them is changing and they are changing as well so quite of a uh, a lot of um, changes happening for them and for you guys as well but for you guys it's very very um, passionate something that you have been passionate about perhaps like this relationship or even for some of you guys it could have been even a project related to this that you are passionate and it's taking off okay it's like uh, this one it looks exactly like phoenix arising from the ashes with a carnation uh, with a flower that's being showed up it means like you are on fire like your your passion is being reignited in your heart and i feel that for some of you guys it could be even the passion that you have for this person and it has been maybe um uh, you couldn't express it because of the situation that was going on between you and them or perhaps for them not being able to express it to you and maybe you have been also oppressing it or not letting it to come out so something is being reborn for you and the energies are going to feel very fresh after this i feel like it's also the energy of the new moon that's coming uh, because we, you guys have the birth and uh, this card just says it all for you Pisces it's like you are coming out you you've been planted all this time that you thought oh my goodness it's nothing it's like dark all over I'm not seeing any light I'm not seeing my rainbow I'm not seeing my flowers I'm not seeing anything but it's because you've been planted and now you are coming out it's like as I said I feel like it's kind of like that rebirth or like a birth energy that's coming exactly the energy of the phoenix and once you are out of that then it's a new life for you because there's also your rainbow that's being showed up very very beautiful and because we also have the queen of wands it could be that for some of you guys you also have uh, fire in your chart as uh, especially leo is being showed up uh, but for some of you could be uh, black panther could also be your um it could be your uh, spirit animal that's being showed up as well and there's also a stag there's a lot of spirit animals that uh, but there's leo definitely it could be them too it could be that you just have passion for um, your the opposite elements okay so it could be that um, your person is a fire sign and you just feel that passion for them um, especially if they're a leo could be that's the case but we're going to talk about them as well 
or uh, what is going on in their situation because there's something else that they are showing here now I feel like also with the Queen of Wands a lot of you guys are creative um, you guys could be very very creative I feel like your creativity is just gonna go off the charts uh, this time around your birthday um, your heart is opening up I feel like you know it's time for you to accept everything that's good and the universe wants to offer you and says my heart space is abundant and flowing something was uh, blocked perhaps you've been uh, something has not been allowing you to receive it and um, we can take a look and see what it is but you know it's like very your reading has a lot of sun energy coming which means that the life force and which means that it's just um I feel like the sunny days are ahead. Uh, you're gonna see the sun. You're gonna see the sunshine after being, um, you know, being in this darkness that you have been, which was like the time for the flower to get nourished. It's like a time, it was the time for you to get the nourishment that you needed for your soul in order to blossom. Um, so very, very beautiful uh, that I see. And with the infinite life force, they're talking about that, um, I feel like this is the creative energy that's coming out but also the life force is something between you and them because they're showing two faces and I feel that you guys are meant to um, lead something or do something together that's going to bring a lot of happiness in the world and um, now on their end I feel that uh, your person has been uh, present let's say um, for some of them I feel like they have been and this is a strange de uh, defending the weak peacekeeping sincerity this person is someone that um, uh, they seek social justice they fight for that they um, defend people that are that they cannot defend themselves but what happens is that um, sometimes they do it at the cost of their own freedom and I feel that sometimes they feel so responsible for other people that uh, it makes them live in a prison and I feel like this is changing of course you know your person I feel like is very very strong but um, at the same time I feel like there's something within their energetic field that spirit is saying that needs to be released because um, they're talking about the karmic board clearing um, so even though I feel like they always want to be the hero of other people's lives but this is the time that spirit is saying that they need to be their own hero and basically let other people to also um, find their own freedom or help themselves so I feel like they're very sincere yes this person is like someone that they will fight for other people um, and uh, as I said I feel like it's time for them to basically um, uh, separate themselves or detach themselves from certain um, situations or people because that situation is just gonna repeat itself now um, it's a good actually you know this person is someone that um, uh, you know has a very good heart and they're very sincere but as I said they need to release the past the the stories that they kept telling themselves because it's imprisoning them or let's say they are imprisoned with um, other people that maybe they keep repeating those stories with such as karmic partners or even relationships that are you know in the past now uh, one other thing that the spirit is saying is that I feel like um, and it says hang on and uh, it, it's very interesting there's a fox there's a couple of like um, spirit animals there is a um, dog here and um, and there are bears and there's a llama it's very interesting because um, what I'm seeing is that I feel that um, your person is like kind of like this is a time of waking up for them it's the time that they feel very very determined um, to clear these energies I feel like they're also um, maybe were not awakened and they're being awakened and now they're looking around them and seeing that they're actually 
the situations that they created was something that they created it themselves um, I feel like they've been it's almost like they've been sleeping all this time and now they're being awakened to um, the reality of what they have created but now that they are I feel like they can create anything that they want in their life and that's why we also have the karmic board clearing for them so I feel like this definitely this is their energy and the core of your energy is the bird that is coming with the rainbow very very beautiful your blessings are um, coming okay so uh, let's uh, continue and see I feel like you guys are ready to receive what the universe wants to give you especially when it comes to your heart because it says my heart space is abundant and flowing because also our heart is the space that we receive love and also abundance because remember abundance is not only money but it's also love joy happiness peace um, all of that as well okay so number 19 was really significant here um for some of you guys it could be your birthday okay and um or it could be that for some of you guys it could be a cusp as well but uh let's uh continue this and we're gonna see what else is coming for you and um okay sorry guys there's like a german shepherd here there is like uh, so many spirit animals that are being shown here and there's a star so there's also a curious energy okay let's see um let's see what else is going on and we have the five of cups okay your rainbow is here Pisces but you're not seeing it I feel like you've been very much focused on the past you're not seeing your two of cups is coming wow and it's beautiful and uh, we also have the ten of swords this is your person their rainbow is also coming a lot of rainbow energy which is the energy of March actually um that i have been seeing if you guys been following me on instagram you will see that it's coming oh my goodness leo again we have the seven of wands okay and um okay oh my goodness your blessing is coming pisces and we have the ten of pentacles and we have the nine of swords okay so i see what is going on okay so i feel that for you pisces you could have been in this like nine of swords like feeling really um like sad feeling like um, nothing is working for you um in your life but actually spirit is saying that even though it has been dark even though it hasn't been easy and you've been crying like most of the time maybe you felt like there's no hope there's no help but um what I see is that you have been focusing too much on what has happened and not seeing what is like basically ahead of you and ahead of you it's a really really bright and a beautiful future in love okay I feel like especially for a lot of you guys this is about love but for some it could have been some financial difficulties as well but I feel like this could have been uh, basically the trap of your mind you know i feel like your mind has kept telling you like you you will never have your happily ever after those things are just a dream but look at what is happening your dream is actually going to come true you are manifesting this and um but i feel like at this time it could be that you are in this energy of like oh in my past this is what happened and i feel like in a way for your person as well it could have been that they have just been uh, too much focusing on the past not seeing what is ahead or um, just not seeing that there is a rainbow I feel like the rainbow is coming for both of you guys definitely I feel like this is your energy because on their end they have the ten of swords um, and again they also have the rainbow so um, but let's see I feel like on your end what the spirit is saying is that all this time that you thought your hard work your 
persistency, the time and energy that you have to spend on this relationship is all gone. You feel like it's over, but it's not. Look at this beautiful two of cups. There, is, there are beautiful changes that are coming. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, between two to five months, you guys are going to see things like your blessings are about to come. Okay. And they are in the color of chakra. So I feel that there was something that needed to be balanced in your own life that um, could have caused a little bit of a delay or a pause in um, receiving these blessings. But I feel like it could have been uh, the trap of your mind. It could have been that. Uh, and um, I feel like in a way for your person, that could have been actually the events in their life that uh, has caused this um, basically all of these um, heartaches or issues with the trust and things like that because with the ten of swords if you guys take a look there are ten um, of these uh, thunder like thunderbolts that are getting into your person's body and it looks like this person is bleeding but actually it was meant to happen this way for their heart chakra to open up because I feel like they've been closed but I feel like at this time they're surrendering they're surrendering to divine and um, all of these like difficulties were meant to happen in their life but if you take a look it looks like this person is like on a cross actually and um, some of them, this has been the issues or um, something that they have kept repeating from even previous lifetimes. Like the, I'm seeing like Native American or it could have been something like, you know, stored in their soul um, DNA for a long time. This heartache, this heart bleeding and now it's getting healed. It's like basically I feel like... Um, it has been designed this way for them uh, to experience that in order to see that their blessings is coming or that for them to heal that part of themselves. And I feel like it's their heart. Um, but look at that because it says karmic board clearing. I feel like this is exactly the clearing. And of course, when it happens, it's not easy because everything needs to be kind of like getting... Um, uh, very intense energies m was needed maybe they think like oh my goodness this was just uh unbearable because if you take a look at this looks like a very very uh painful scene but then if you look there's also a rainbow and there's the stars coming so i feel like they could be also be a star seed and so do you a lot of you guys could be a star seeds that you are watching this and the blessings from their star family is also coming after all of these challenges that they had experienced maybe for 10 years or even for like lifetime after lifetime because it says rewrite your story and I feel like this is exactly what's happening and um you know, I feel like they are stepping into their power uh, as above. I feel like the energy of the seven of wands in this one is actually very different uh, because what it shows is that it looks like the as above, so below kind of energy. And I feel like, you know, it's not only their solar plexus chakra, which it is because with the Leo energy and the yellow, it definitely is the solar plexus chakra. But also I feel like it's their heart chakra as well that's opening up. So um, I feel like they're, they're stepping stepping into their power they are rewriting their story they are living their truth okay so that's exactly what's going on and i feel like for you guys you you have to just like um chin up you have to just like look up and see that this two of cups is waiting for you pisces okay so um don't stay in this um uh, situation where you think that uh, everything is gone there's no hope for you because there is um, and this darkness that you are going through is nothing but your rebirth okay it's nothing but your rebirth I mean it is beautiful and I feel like you are also going to be stepping into your power after this rebirth that is happening for you and yes everything needs to be destroyed before a new world can be, uh, can uh, come into life and you also have the ten of pentacles and how beautiful is that this is your castle this is your home with this person and you will you two will be together just like I feel like um, 
you too had experienced this um, possibly in a previous lifetime as well and to me this looks like a king and a queen coming back together or finding that um, reuniting together there is also a red rose here which I feel like it's a symbol of passion between you two but also the difficulties that you two had to experience in order to get here but the uh, spirit is saying that the key to this house or I feel like this is the house of your heart or this is your home is given to you okay it's given to you and it's beautiful and it's going to bring you all the stability that you've been looking for because I feel like that's what you wanted and there are kids as well look at the two kids so yes there could be kids involved as well uh, within this union either you're going to have kids with them or for some of you perhaps could be from uh, previous relationships no matter what it is you are going to have your uh, basically happily ever after with this person there's absolutely no doubt about it and I feel like it's going to be stable it's not going to be like before like back and forth no this is going to be a stable life because this is the ten of pentacles one of the most stable cards actually but this one is very very special because it also brings a stability into the relationship so I feel like overall you guys have a really really beautiful energies except that you need to um, don't allow your mind to tell you that everything is gone or everything is just not um, like positive in your life because um, you are about to manifest something beautiful but if you are always in that kind of like thoughts of like the past or thinking what has been going wrong then you're not going to see that your blessings are coming oh my goodness Pisces this is so beautiful for you I'm really happy for you guys and um okay so let's get um let's get you guys one more card and then I'm gonna get you guys a dragon card because of the year of dragon and then we are done uh, and then we're gonna get charms and then we're done okay but um uh let's uh sorry guys I just need to okay uh, okay let's shuffle it a little bit more I want to get you guys one of these and then let's see okay we got two cards let's see what it is we have a uh, luminous path and it's beautiful your path is getting clear it's getting illuminated and there's the moon this is your energy coming um for some of you guys there's a lot of like past lives um healing that is happening i feel um i feel like for a lot of you guys yeah that's what i see like egypt I, I, i'm also seeing for you guys but let's see what else we also have emergence so i feel like um something is uh like basically with the emergence is um what I'm seeing is the collapse of the timelines between different worlds um, especially if you had past lives like let's say um, in ancient times there's a collapse of time meaning that you can be traveling to your past you can be traveling between the worlds in order to heal certain things that uh, maybe you have been having difficulty with okay so uh, it could be your Akashic, it could be something in your Akash that it's just like uh, something about the old stories that basically I feel like it's coming to the surface to get healed once and for all. So for you and this person to have this um, beautiful like union or reunion to have. So a lot of like um, healing, a lot of like illumination, rebirth is happening for you guys. Okay, so and, and the moon it showed up. So and the water, which is your element. Okay, luminous path is just getting illuminated beautifully for you. Okay, my lovely Pisces. Now, let's also get you guys uh, some where are my dragon cards actually? Okay, let's get you guys uh, uh, dragon energy and see what is what is the message oh wow you guys have two okay and uh, we have Kuan Yin pink dragon uh, brings firm love that reset your karmic balance oh my goodness 
a firm love like very very stable and uh, the karmic balance wow and it says um sorry guys and it says uh, just give me a second something is on my nails okay uh, and it says see uh, all your cores dissolved by transcendent love enjoy your freedom look for divine around you wow this is beautiful i feel like this is the heart chakra there's this rose like pink color that's coming out and i feel like exactly this is it i feel like it's for you and them uh, i feel like it's for both of you guys karmic board clearing for them as well rewrite your story a lot of like karmic um uh, cleansing is happening and we also have the golden atlantean dragon some of you guys had a past life in atlantis i could see a lot of atlantis and the moria coming into your reading and it says helps you the, uh, to remember the wisdom of golden atlantis and it says awaken bring back your knowledge gifts and talents reclaim your mastery oh my goodness pisces this is beautiful for you and um yes some of you guys uh, past life in china is also being showed up and atlantis okay so let's also get you guys some charms and um remember that we are going to continue this on the membership site too so you can join us for more in-depth readings if you're interested or if you're being guided to and let's uh, let's get some charms for you okay what is it that you guys have here okay and uh, we have i feel that our union is getting very close my intuition is telling me that very soon i will see you again i can't wait to see you my love i feel like it's definitely happening for you guys yep you are going to have it pisces it's very very clear here and uh, there's communication there's message sweet message is coming your way okay and it says couldn't express myself before i will tell you how i feel i'll see you very soon my love i feel like it's happening for you guys i was afraid of getting hurt and it says i want us to be together they want you to be together there's no doubt pisces don't doubt don't doubt that and um there's Aquarius energy there's a lot of like Asia South Asia that type of energy is also coming and it says I've been very indecisive about this relationship I didn't know what to make out of it what to make of it um, I feel like it has been very strong for them passion fire there's a lot of fire in this reading and it says you have set my heart on fire do you feel my passion yep i feel like you do i feel like um you know there is a lot of like uh, fire that and the rainbow oh my god i can't believe you guys are having a lot of rainbows yeah it's like your blessings are coming one after another look at the rainbow look at the rainbow there was like a rainbow for your person again here as well and there was another one oh my goodness it's like you have to really chin up pisces because it's coming for you it could have been a little bit of a delay but uh it is coming and uh music could be something that connects you guys and um year of monkey or also leo is coming and um letter x is also being showed up year of rabbit and uh there's dolphins and which could be your spirit animal as well and i feel like this is related to your previous lifetime year of horse and um and also there is a turtle again the spirit animal that's being showed up number five and it says i feel if we get back together we can create abundance a lot of abundance which i feel like you guys do because there's also like number five here and there's butterflies which i feel like these are the beautiful changes that are happening um, in your life pisces okay this is exactly the energy of the butterfly and um, piano music is definitely coming like um, 1988 uh, there are some numbers hollywood um, could be something that uh, and there's also a mermaid which i feel like this is exactly the energy of pisces and it says i think it's long overdue to tell you that i love you i want to pick up the phone and just hear your voice i love you i feel like it's coming for you definitely and look at the key 
okay i feel like this is exactly the key and look guys it looks very similar to this key that's being showed up so the door to your happiness i feel like it's in your hand you just have to open it you just have to open it pisces and you're there okay so i feel like it's very very positive for you guys and a lot of cats too maybe for some of you guys you have a cat because there's a pet here that's being showed up okay oh and it says uh, this one i was missing it says i was waiting for you my whole life and when i saw you you shook me to the core and i was terrified of this powerful love i got scared that's exactly what happened to them there's also a shooting star oh my goodness guys and i'm just seeing like there's another key here so and what it tells me is that you guys also have the key to each other's heart um oh my goodness this is very much like the key that is being shown up here so wow look at that if you put it here it's almost like the same size even so <clears throat> i feel like you guys have the key to this happiness together um and it's coming for you i'm also seeing like florida or some parts of the world with like um, palm trees so that's also being showed up okay so my lovely Pisces, I hope that you enjoyed your reading. I'm sending all of you guys so much love and happy, happiest birthday. I hope that you guys enjoy your season.